I hear tones in your music. Those words changed my life forever. I mean, you know, we all have those experiences that happen in our lives. And that night, okay, I'm playing at a wellness center for my wife. She goes, do me a favor. Would you play for this wellness center and do, you know, they're having an open house, do a set. So I play the set and this woman comes up to me, the woman who actually owned the center. And she comes up to me and she goes, I hear tones in your music. And my first thought is, man, okay, this is one of those out there people. She's about to get weird on me. And then she like got right up in my face and nobody can hear the tones but me. And of course, being kind of the smart ass that I can be, I'm like going, you know what? I heard some tones too, man. Back in the 80s, listening to Pink Floyd, watching the lava lamp. I heard some tones. <laughs> it kind of snapped her out of it, I think, you know, wherever she was, some level of transcendence or something. And, and she goes, okay, she goes, you know, I know these scientists, okay? They're going to be interested in your music. Let me get a CD from you. I'm like going, you know, I want this lady to get away from me as fast as possible. Here's a CD. You don't even need to pay for it. Just take it. I'll leave it at that. Didn't tell Lara what happened. Didn't say nothing. And a few weeks later, out of that incident, I get a call from Dr. Jones. And Dr. Jones was a former top consultant to NASA. He was involved in a very intriguing study in looking at, this was his hypothesis, that the huge increase in neurological disorders, cancers, diseases, disharmony showing up in people was because of energy disruption, of actually putting the body's energy field into a state of disharmony. And because over the last 20, 30 years, we've put in up to over 80,000 man-made chemicals in our air, food, and water, countless waves from our technology, Wi-Fi, smart meters, EMS, 5G, 4G, 3G, all of the above of what's being transmitted. They were convinced that these vibrational barriers were the cause of the disharmony that was showing up in so many different ways in so many different uh, people exponentially over the last 30 years. And so I get invited to a lecture. And the reason why I share this is because you never know what's going to come out of the opportunities. In fact, I'll share it in a sec why it is so important and this how this ties back to you and why you have to take every advantage, every opportunity to be true to your authentic self. So I get invited to a meeting diving into this very subject. At that particular point in time, I had never heard of quantum physics. I'd never really heard of energy healing work, maybe a little bit. I've never thought to look at myself or the world that I live in beyond my senses. But that night I got my quantum physics 101 wake up call and started realizing, oh my God, what we experience and who I see in the mirror is the tip of the iceberg of who and what I am. And halfway through the program, they start st demonstrating how stuff we use every day, a laptop computer, uh, chemicals, cleaning chemicals and things like that, actually weakened the body and put us into a weakened state because it was disrupting our energetic flow. And then when it really got freaky, they had me come up and play. I come up and play and I see people no longer going weak. In fact, they're getting strong. It was changing their whole physiological response. I went home that night with my do not comprehend light flashing in my head. Lara asked me, oh, how was the, the meeting and stuff? I was fine. <laughs> That's all I said. But that changed my life, which ultimately opened up the door to Dr. Jones giving me the call and saying, you know what? Your music is healing. You are a channel for energy that tunes and harmonizes and rises people above the static and noise of the modern day world. We want to buy a thousand CDs from you and start selling them. I'm like, oh, well, that I can understand and relate to. I'm not sure about all the other stuff, but that was the beginning of the journey. But the reason why I share this is because I didn't want to go play in front of people that night. Okay, I was never comfortable back then. This is almost 20 years ago now sharing my music in front of people. I could speak in front of a thousand people, put two people in the room and my guitar, I became this shy kid. Did not want to do it, but I said yes. I showed up and I played. And what came out of it? An opportunity to connect, a kind of a weird experience, entertaining to say the least, 
but yet it opened the door for me revealing a whole nother level of what it is that I could bring forward to help people on their journey through life, to help people rise above the vibrational barriers. And later I discovered limiting belief systems to restore harmony, to unlock their potential and help them to be become more powerful catalysts for transformation on the planet. But it all came out of that experience. So now why do I share this? Because I want you to honor those callings when they arise. You have a purpose, a passion, a calling that's within you, a gift, a talent, something that was breathed into you at your birth that your soul wants to express into the world. When we do that, it brings up every fear, every insecurity, every story of not good enough, whatever, that we might have picked up in that crucial age between zero and seven that can stop us from shining our light and being true to those callings. I want you to take those steps that are just beyond your comfort zone, okay? And look to see at what begins to open up because I guarantee you what's going to open up is a whole nother level of the power behind what you're bringing forward. Who you are matters. Your energy matters. Your purpose matters. And we are all being called to get over our stuff and express it into the world in the most unique, the most powerful, the most authentic way possible. And when you get those little callings that move you into a whole new level of discomfort, take advantage of them. And look to see what opens up. I am so convinced of this. You know, we talk a lot about ascension and, you know, emerging into 5D world. And, you know, it's defined in a number of different ways out there in this new thought consciousness arena. But the fact is, what's going to help us to get there? Is it political systems? Yeah, I don't think so. Is it medical systems? Yeah, I don't think so either. You know, educational? No. Religious institutions? Nah, probably not. Okay? It's going to be up to each and every one of us rising above those vibrational barriers in our lives, letting go of the old belief systems that say that we're somehow limited or not powerful or not good enough or not worthy of sharing our passion and our purpose within. And it's about being true to those callings that have been etched upon your soul that you want to express into the world. That's the catalyst for transformation. That's what's going to help uplift humanity to a whole new high. So each and every one of us plays an important role in this thing called global transformation. So with that being said, I want to play a little musical piece to help encourage you to move forward, to shine in your light, to taking advantage of the little opportunities that present themselves because you never know what those opportunities are going to unveil. You never know what they are going to reveal about yourself. And ultimately, maybe, just maybe, how you can help lift humanity to new heights and change this world that is in so much need of that right now. It's up to all of us, each and every one of us. Your beacon of light, of love, of passion, of energy, of creative expression. And the world needs you to shine. I want you to shine. People around you want you to shine. Because by doing so, it uplifts everybody, including yourself which is a really cool thing. So with that being said, let's take some nice deep breaths. Within you is a beautiful song. A beautiful passion, calling, purpose, expression. So 
breathe out any fear. Take another deep breath. Who you are matters. Your expression matters. Your purpose matters. Mm, so be committed to shining your light and sharing that music that's within you. It's the key to transforming your life. It's the key to uh, accelerating your expansion and your personal growth. It's the key to changing the world we live in. You were born at this time because you have something to bring forward. We all need to get over ourselves, and it's an ongoing process. Trust me, okay? and commit ourselves to shining our light and being true to what has been etched upon our souls. So thank you for your willingness to shine your light, for your commitment to bring forward that passion, that purpose, that calling that has been infused within you, that life is just asking you to express. Who you are matters. Once again, never forget that. In fact, that's a great affirmation for all of us to say in the mirror, who I am matters. My expression makes a difference. I can help transform the world. To me, that's really exciting. So join me on this mission, on this campaign to raise the vibration, raise the energy, raise the consciousness of the planet so that we can become much more effective in navigating the contrast of the human experience and stepping into the next greater and grander expression of who and what we are. So, hey, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, push that subscribe button thing or however it works. Subscribe to the channel. If you want a track of high vibration music to support you, go to markermuromusic.com forward slash gift, markermuromusic.com forward slash gift. If you are interested in becoming a catalyst for transformation on the planet, you want to raise your energy, you want to become a beacon of light that lifts others to a whole new level, there's going to be a little link below in the description where you can catch the replay of a um, telesummit or whatever, telesummit or webinar. That's the word I was looking for, uh, help you to learn more. So other than that, thank you once again. Take care and have a harmonious day.